clear to start left engine. One of the most important things that the Twin Otter brings, well actually really the important thing that the Twin Otter brings to the, R to the RCF, Royal Canadian Air Force, and the Canadian Forces is its ability to land off, off strip. And by off strip I mean we land where either the what used to be an airstrip is now abandoned or there's no airstrip at all. In the Treed Arctic where Up Nanook happened this summer, Basically, at some of these communities, some of these places, there's, there's no airfield. And that was the case for the scenario site this summer at Sigachik, in which the simulated situation was a collision between a barge and the ferry that precipitated a, uh, a request for a federal government response, which also in turn precipitated a D&D &D response. And the Twin Otter was necessary to support that effort. It was very much an intergovernmental uh, whole of government mission this, this summer. So the RCMP were there to, uh, to, to block off either end of, of the part of the highway we used for our landing. There was also coordination with the One Canadian Ranger Patrol Group who had to make sure that they provided predator control. So there's a lot of moving parts and also uh, we had to have support from our uh, brothers and sisters in arms at 400 Squadron, uh, Tactical Helicopter Squadron. We did the landing and uh, my first comment to the crew when we rolled out is I turned and said it looks like they built, it's just like they built this highway for us to land on. Smooth, flat. What, what we did in Optinook here, we as the Canadian forces, we as the whole of government, the, the Canadian government, of course my squadron, 440 squadron, uh, had one small part in that with our landing on the Dempster Highway. Each and every one of those things demonstrates to the Canadian public that we are able to deploy to the north sustain ourselves in the north and respond to a safety and security event that happens in the north.